Hi, this is Wade Smith with our Get Smart series. Today's topic, what is inventory optimization? Do you feel like your organization should be carrying less inventory, but don't know how to get actually less inventory? Have you had inventory optimization projects in the past and you would charitably describe them as abject failures? Have you heard a lot about cloud applications, but you have no idea what it means to you in meeting customer service levels and reducing costs? This video and series is probably for you. I'll cover three topics in this talk. Inventory optimization in general, what is multi-echelon, and SAP's IBP inventory optimization. Let's get started. It's all about safety stock. We're figuring out what inventory you need in order to protect yourself and your customers from variability. Whether that variability is customer demand, transportation and production issues, or unique constraints of your supply chain. Notice that I didn't say it's about figuring out how to make inventory efficiently or when to do certain tasks like pre-build inventory. This is just about what inventory I need to protect myself and customers from the cruel chaotic world. But it's more than just one big static number. Most IT applications take all these inputs and calculate a safety stock for every single future period. They figure out where exactly it needs to be and it automatically adjusts for changes in things like demand or sourcing. So it becomes more than something you do today, more than once or twice a year, but every week or month. Most sales reps selling these applications usually throw out some saving number like 10% or 15% in inventory costs, but that's just silly for a lot of reasons we'll talk about in other sections. Suffice it to say, a proper analysis with real data can be done relatively quickly and give you a better answer than just a guess. What is multi-echelon? Think holistic analysis as opposed to siloed calculations. Or another way of saying it, instead of each location calculating safety stock based solely on themselves, a multi-echelon solve will look across your entire supply chain to optimize inventory levels. The easiest way to think of it is in the extreme. If a warehouse is trying to figure out how much safety stock to have, the answer is different if the manufacturing plant up the street has a million cases that it can get to you the same day, versus a stock with a four month production lead time. 50 years from now, supply chain managers will be amazed that we never cared about this upstream inventory level. Much like we can't imagine a safe supply chain world where we calculate component requirements automatically. Some companies say that their unique supply chain would not benefit from a multi-echelon approach. Or worse, they've tried a multi-echelon project and it failed. The reality is that the math, although complex, is proven and sound and practically all supply chains would benefit from it. The root cause for failure is usually tied to not understanding how the inputs impact the outputs, but again, more on that later. So now we come to SAP's application for IO. IBP, or Integrated Business Planning, is SAP's cloud-based solution to replace APO, their on-premise supply chain planning tool. APO did not have an inventory optimization tool, so SAP bought the market leader SmartOps in an acquisition several years ago and integrated their logic into the IBP platform. Before getting to IO specifics, keep in mind that the IBP platform itself has several advantages, whether it's performance, user interfaces, or basic functionality. But that's all beyond the scope of this series. What is specific to the IBP module of IO is the fact that there are several algorithms or programs that will execute a multi-echelon solve. It will also calculate things like expected demand loss, projected pipeline and cycle stock calculations. But its core functionality is a multi-echelon inventory solution. One primary advantage of IBP IO is speed both in terms of functional enhancements that occur every three months, as well as the solve performance speed itself. Typical solves that took eight hours on the SmartOps on-premise solution usually complete in one-tenth of the time, if not faster. What that means is that the solve is not just relegated to a once a week or once a month weekend solve. Faster performance means a faster response time to business environment changes and more powerful what-if simulations. 
Hopefully we have a good foundation about what IO is. In future talks, I'll dive into more specifics and what the potential value and costs are. I do need to say this tool is not for every company. There are some basic prerequisites to having a successful IO project, future talk. But at least after this talk, you know what IO actually is. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click below to like, subscribe, or comment.